Hey everyone, it's Sire here. I'm going to try doing something a little different today. Um, I do like to play with my Cricut. And while I was looking online for images, I came across this little girl silhouette. So I decided to cut it out in black cardstock and I'm, I want to play with um, distressed inks. So I have a few inks I have, uh, <clears throat> I have a few inks that I want to use and I have some stencils and that's what I plan on doing today is try to find some inspiration using these little girls here, these silhouettes. Um, so I am planning on doing this live. So let's see how that goes. Um, I'm going to use some Bristol cardstock and for the first one I have a stamp that I got from my favorite things and it's a cloud. So this one right here it's my favorite things I'm not sure what it's called. Cloud stencil. Nice and simple. And what I want to do is create a simple card um, with this little girl. So the two inks I'm going to use for this one is Iced Spruce and Broken China. I believe that's the colors I want to use. So we'll play around with that and see how that goes. Okay. So let's see if I can figure out how to do this. So what I want to do is I want to create I think Broken China is the latest one I have. I'm slowly getting a collection. I believe this is, I do have um, Mermaid Lagoon as well. I'm not sure which one is brighter, but I'll use this one. So this one here, let me just um, fix my camera here. I want to make sure that I'm not off camera this time. Okay, so if we do this correctly, so what I plan on doing is having the girl down here on the bottom, in the corner there, okay? So if we start by doing something like this, then we kind of get an idea of how we're gonna do this. Now I've seen other people do this and it looked pretty simple. Um, so let's see how simple this is. Oops. Now I don't have any pixie spray or um, anything. Well, I guess I can use um, tape, but I want to just, now to be very careful, I just realized, is not to go over what's already been done. So this is kind of cool. You can just play around with the different, um, get some clouds there. Maybe have a cloud here. Just make sure you don't go over. I almost did it. And it's very easy to do if you get distracted. Okay. Maybe some more, more clouds here. <laughs> cute. This is so cute. Okay, and then I'll finish it off like this. Let's see how that works. That's so neat. That's so neat. Now this is what I'm going to try to do because I want to create a separate color. I want to create a little bit of darkness here. So let's see if I can redo this. So I'm going to put this back where it was and I'm going to use the iced spruce and I'm just going to, I just want to go just a little bit. I think I went too much on the first one. I'm just going to put a little bit there. And if we go here, if we just put a little bit right there, and a little bit there. No, 
know what was this? I think it's like that. Just a little bit. See how we get an effect there. Now what was this one? Was it like that? I think so. Let's add a little bit. Just a tiny bit. A little bit more here. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just like that. You can easily. And then I will add a little bit. Just. Just adding a little bit. I, I am not trying to do too much, um, but sometimes it, it's, it slips. Um, something like that. If I just bring this down a little bit more. Oops, did it again. See a little too much there. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maybe try to clean some of this up with a little bit of the blue. With a little bit of the broken china. And just see, I have such a big tool, it's really hard to, um, it's hard to get in there. I think I just I want to um, I want to kind of this one's kind of right here. Hmm, I think I kind of ruined it. <laughs> I think I kind of ruined it. <laughs> How's that look on camera? It's not too bad. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Let's try that again. I'm going to try that all over again. Okay, we'll start with the blue. And this time I won't touch it. Let's go a little bit faster. Not too fast. <laughs> I don't want to pick another one. Now, the other thing I just realized is I forgot to um, I forgot to clean off this before I went back and forth, so this blue is now kind of dark. No, I don't like that. This is not easy. Okay. How can I fix this? Let's
Maybe if I make the whole thing dark. Yeah. You know what? I really screwed up the other side too, so let's just keep working with this one. And what I'm going to try to do is just make it so that it's a little bit more dark. So it's more even out. So it's not so much white. Let's do that. I don't want to waste this paper. This paper is um, premium in my opinion. Okay. You know what? That's good enough. <laughs> that is good enough. Um, I am happy with that. Okay. So I'm going to set that aside so it can dry. Okay, for the next one, I'm going to try to do um, a gradient here. And I'm going to do that with some festive berry. Actually, we'll do some candy apple. Okay. So I'm going to try with candy apple. And the reason I'm doing this is because they're all oxides. Candy apple, sponge sugar, mustard seed, and pick raspberry. So what I'm hoping is when I put these two together, I'll get an orange and then pink. <laughs> so, okay, first I will need a piece of scrap paper. And the reason I do that is so I don't touch anything. So because yellow will be the one that transfers the, the most, I'm assuming, um, in, uh, meaning that I can damage maybe this with red if I touch it, I will start with the yellow. And I'm going to just really saturate this. I'm always impressed um, with distressed inks. I, I, I watch people do the videos and I just don't believe it. I'm like, they're just too professional. Um, and then when I tried it myself, it actually works pretty well. Uh, I was really shocked. So we'll get a nice coating of yellow. And the reason I'm going a little bit higher is because I do want orange. So I'm going to put it a little higher and then the red will go over in the middle there. which is called candy apple. And so far I don't need my piece of paper. Let's go right here. I'm just gonna go slowly. Get to my yellow again and kind of mix that. So I want that to turn a nice orange. Isn't that awesome? I just love that. Look at that. That is so amazing. But I have to be very careful because I don't want to wreck my yellow. But I want to smooth that out. So I'm just using a piece of paper towel to um, just try to get as much of that ink out as possible. And then we'll go back in the yellow and then I'll do it right here. Because I want to blend that. That looks really nice. See how easy that is? That's so awesome. And then just to finish off with the red, I will smooth that out. Okay, let's just push this one more. There we go. That is awesome. Look at that. Okay, now let's get the pink in there. <clears throat> so we'll close these, candy apple and mustard seed. And let's use picked raspberry, which is another bright, bright color. And I'm just going to, I don't wanna to go too high because I need room for my light pink. 
So I'm going to work mainly close to this um, the red border. And that looks really nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need to drink some more water. I've been uh, I've been naughty today, and I've been I had three cups of coffee, um, which is not bad. I wouldn't say three cups of coffee is bad, to be honest. But um, I didn't have any water. <laughs> so that's my problem. That's the problem. Okay, now let's finish this off with some spun sugar. And so I use my cloth um, to knock off some of that dark pink. And uh, the oxides are just so amazing. Everyone is aware of how awesome they are. I'm just late to the party, but that's okay. I'm having so much fun with these. Like, look at that. That is really cool love it okay I think I'm happy with that maybe a little bit more here okay so I am happy with that that looks pretty cool so I'm gonna let that one dry too what I want to do next is play around with another stencil from my favorite things I would really like to do some live YouTube channels or videos. Like I find that really fun, but I need a thousand subscribers. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon. Um, if I can figure out maybe how to do it with uh, Facebook, that would be fun. I just, I just like to um, try being live and doing this instead of recording it. Okay, so I have these, my favorite things, stamp and I believe this is called card size confetti stencil so what I want to do is I want to try to create an effect of bubbles but I don't want the bubbles to be really strong so I'm going to try using this I actually got this one for free it's already stained it almost looks like a tie-dye <laughs> um, I got it for free from scrappingforless.com when I bought some items and they gave a free dauber. So I'm going to give that one a try on this card. And I just want to put some circles on this. I'm not sure if this is too wet. Yeah, it's still a little wet. But you know what? That is, let's go with it. Let's see what happens. Mm, actually, you know what? I'm going to dry it because it is wrecking my ink pad. <laughs> so let me just get this heat set. Okay. Don't know if that's going to work. Let's give that a try. So I'm not touching anything. Just going to put dots everywhere. White ink is not very strong. I think there is one called Unicorn White. I don't know which company it is offhand. If it's um, Hero Arts or maybe it's Hero Arts, I'm not sure. But apparently that one's really good. Okay, so we got some nice big ones, and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one, just to get a bunch of different sizes. Anyways, one, two. Just fill this in.
So some of them are standing out and some of them are not. Actually, what I also wanted to do, I'm not a big fan of that. No, it's good, it's there. <laughs> it's there. And that's interesting that I just made it darker by doing that. So if I did that over here, would that do the same thing? Yeah, interesting. How's that looking? Also, what I want to try doing is um, I'm gonna use some water as well. I'm gonna soak this. Just wanna try this a bit, just to create um, different. Because if you do this, it won't be white. Uh, it'll lift the color and it'll give it a different shade like if it's for if somewhere around further back now i wasn't really paying attention and i duplicated the same pattern there so that's that's what i i should be careful with You can see all the spots. You can actually see them um, in the light, but when you're actually looking at dead on, it's not. It doesn't look that noticeable. It's only because it's wet that you're seeing all those. I wasn't really paying attention when I was putting this down. It's definitely different when you're um, talking. So let's put a little more, maybe put some white in here. And I will trim this down. Okay, so that, let's pull back the first one we worked on. So it's not the best, um, it's definitely not the best cloud uh, job. <laughs> it's pretty dark, it looks like rain's coming or something. Um, but what I will do is I will take my little girl and I'm going to glue her right about here. I will use some Nouveau glue today, just because it just happens to be the closest in my range. This one's a nice one, it has a nice small tip. Okay, so I'm gonna put her Right about here. Now the other thing that I cut out, this is going to be fun, <laughs> is I cut out all these little hearts with my Cricut machine. So I'm just going to dump these on here. And I'm going to start positioning them. I kind of want the to be like she blowing them out of her hand. I'm going to take this small one here, kind of like that. And they're all just so many little ones. 
So I will definitely fast forward this part of the video because you don't need to see me <laughs> line this all up. Kind of following a path, but you have the odd one that's straggling. It's very sweet. I just love this idea. She's blowing so much love and we all need that right now. Everyone is seeming to be on edge. And it's just all we need is, is just more love to know that we are loved and to just love ourselves as well. Don't forget that. Sometimes we focus so much on making sure other people are loved that we don't remember to give ourselves love as well because we all deserve it. I don't care who you are. We all deserve love. So this little girl's a reminder of that. She's just blowing thousands and hundreds of kisses. And they're just getting picked up in the wind. Okay. So that takes a little bit of time. But that is adorable. Okay. You know what? Shoot. I forgot to <laughs> forgot to trim this guy. Okay, let's see if I can trim it. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. You know, ignore the clouds in the back. <laughs> yes, we shall ignore those. That uh, did not go well. But I can tell you with um, practice, those clouds will be easy to do. Just, it's just, it's really hard for me to um, to waste paper. I know it's just paper, but oh my goodness, it's so hard. In fact, that was the reason why I never could get into crafts. Um, I did a lot as a child, but that's because everything I was given was either for Christmas or birthdays and stuff, so I had no problem using it. But once I started making my own money, all of a sudden I couldn't for some reason waste anything so I actually gave up on crafts even though I loved doing it just because I would buy something and then I would never touch it because I was afraid that I wouldn't do it right the first time and then it would just go into the garbage um, and it's a legitimate fear I'm sure lots of people have it and that's why I'm just telling you it doesn't matter it is only paper if it doesn't work, that's okay. Just, just be happy that you tried. Because if you don't try, you'll never get better. I'm sure any artist will tell you that if you were to ask them. Some people are really good at drawing, but a lot of them, and even the good ones, took a lot of practice. Is that straight? Good enough. <laughs> okay, so we have that. And then I, I'm not very organized. Okay, so that's on there. And then I'm just going to glue this one, or I'm gonna say tape again. I'll tape this one down. And the reason I'm taping today is because I always use the liquid glue, but what I find is that the cards seem to warp on me. And I want to see if this will happen. I don't think it will, which is a shame because I really like using the liquid glue. Because you have a lot of wiggle room, 
Or maybe I just need to learn not to use so much. <laughs> That's probably what it is. Um, there is a little, because I use the air glitter glue and there is a little tip you can buy, but every time I go to buy it, it's sold out. And uh, there's not many places that sell it. There's a local craft store. Um, they're always out. And then the other place is Simon's Says Stamp. But they're also sold out. Always sold out. Must be very popular. I'm already in one hour of this <laughs> video. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we'll just put this right onto the card base. Since it's not glue, I don't have any wiggle room. And there we go. Now I can easily add a sentiment. I don't have any, but what this is nice about this is I've left room so that I can add one at any time. Um, just gotta make sure you have a steady hand so you don't wreck it. <laughs> but it's just really cute. She's a little silhouette girl, cut with my Cricut. All these hearts were cut with the Cricut. And then I just place them around and she's just blowing them across. Um, and I did, it's, it's a little off. I will trim that. Let's do that right now. And this is the, this is the problem I have when I use glue, when I don't get to use glue. Um, uh, you, you don't have much chance to f maneuver. But that's okay. No one will be any the wiser. So there we go. So that's the first one. So we go back to this one. What I'm going to do, oh, see I got some ink on the bottom there. Oh, it's all on the top too. Okay, so I am going to cut this down so I can, similar to what I just did with the cloud. Okay. So that looks good. Now for this one, I'm going to use, a, I'm going to actually cut out a piece of, I have a piece of this black, a piece of this black card stock, and I am going to just create Some grass. Okay. So I'll cut this out. <laughs> that took a little while. So what we can do is I will set that here and I want my girl to be right about actually I'm gonna put her right here. And I'll show you why. I'm going to take the stamp again. And I'm going to add some more white to this. Actually, I don't want to use this one. I want to have a finger powder. Okay, so a little finger dauber. So 
little bit smaller. I just want to get that white. Like that. And then I'm going to take that yellow wherever I put it. I'm going to add Can you see that? Just the slightest little touch. And then I just want to kind of blend that back out. So it's not a perfect circle. My poor white. <laughs> oh, I'm too impatient on some things. Now this ink is still pretty wet, so. There we go. Okay. Put my ink pad away. And I'm going to glue her down. And this time she's not going to be kissing, blowing kisses. She's going to be holding that little light, which is kind of like a firefly in the evening. So sweet. And then I'm going to take my grass and I'm just going to glue that down. Just like that. Okay. And I have cut out a piece of black. I'm just going to move this down a bit so I don't see that yellow. And I will glue this one. I'm just because I'm taking too much time. As right now, it's already been an hour and a half. <laughs> Create two cards is pretty good. Create a nice black border here. Be very careful not to touch that. I think I creased it too much, but okay. And I'll just glue this one on too. I'm trying to use not too much glue. a difference. Now with this card I definitely recommend being patient. Just let the inks dry. Um, because this one I actually have made this one already. I'm, I want to show you what it what the previous one looked like the one I was kind of following. So this is the one I created before when you take your time. Not too bad. But this one, you can just see it. If you take your time, you can just let it dry and you can get some nice effect. 
So, really cute cards. Um, once again, I've left room to create um, a sentiment at any time, and you just use some black, and um, and it's just it's a nice card because the thing I like about it is, like I said, you can choose any type of grass you want. It it changes it, um, but I just love the speckle look of that. And in this case, I actually did the light ink and then the dark, and this one I did dark to light. It creates two different effects. Now, the other card that I created, I'm not going to finish. I'm going to finish off just showing you another card I made. Um, this one, I did a very basic red to black gradient. And I made it kind of like a retro style. So she's just blowing hearts again. Um, and I've taken some pieces from the other card. So these are the pieces I cut off and I used them um, for this card and then I took a piece of gold or yellow cardstock to make it kind of like a retro look. Once again you have lots of room right here that I can easily put a stamp on it. So to show you the cards one more time um, there is this one. Like I said um, very basic it's just the red um, to the black. I did do this one off camera and there is a black outline and then the yellow paper there. And these pieces here were from another card that I created earlier, the one with the girl holding the light, the light or the firefly. And then I added a piece of black here, which actually came from this piece. So when I trimmed this down, I was able to get these three. And it kind of creates a, a retro type card. And there's room to put a sentiment in there. And this, this card was actually me playing around with um, adding water and, and paint and, or, um, and uh, splashing more ink on there. And then of course, here's the girl blowing kisses in the wind. Beautiful. I just love the hearts just flowing and the little one right there. And there's definitely room for a sentiment here. You can just ink it right on the card. I could. Um, create a black sentiment um, like a banner with the white embossed ink so I can do that as well and then here is the other cards that I created so you can still see it's a little bit wet <laughs> so definitely had a lot of fun with this um, you can see that Creating silhouettes is um, definitely a lot of fun, especially this design. You can do a lot of cool things. I hope you enjoyed the cards that I've created. Um, I hope it's created some inspiration to get out your different supplies and just play around with some inks and such. Um, thank you for joining me, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.